All right, so we made it to the field. I'm here with Pierre, Alessandro. But yeah, this is the field here. Um, this is the Windermere field. There's a guy over there training. So we'll, I think we'll get a solid session, get some passing in there, uh, some shooting, a bunch of stuff. But um, yeah, let's get straight to it. So I'm finally back. Um, I know it's been a while. Uh, the last video I posted was the Buznika video at the beach and I've just been going crazy with training and like just non-stop I practice every day and just you know getting things done getting things ready for college soccer and it's just been hectic and I haven't gotten a lot of chances to really record oh I got some clips here and there of some of my training sessions but the daily vlogging it's tough really really tough I mean like hats off to Sheldon Tweedy I'm sure you guys know him uh, daily vlogger and he talks about his life and how it is um, playing and you know working his way up in the Australian League which is interesting but yeah it's just uh, like I said it's just been a crazy schedule for me I've been training three three times a day two times a day sometimes four uh, just depending on how my body feels and I thought you know I'd give a quick update on what's been going on with my life after Switzerland and it's some good news, some exciting news, which I'll get to. Um, but for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Adam Chani. I'm 20 years old, and um, I obviously want to be a professional soccer player. And I've just been working my way up, you know, little by little, starting off at club soccer, going into high school soccer, then moving to Morocco, playing semi-pro there, moving to Switzerland, playing semi-pro there. And now I'm in um, Orlando right now, going into college soccer um, in Wheel at Wheeling University in Wheeling, West Virginia, uh, playing D2 college soccer. And this is going to be exciting. And I thought that I'd uh, introduce myself to those of you who don't know, those of you who are new to the channel. And yeah, let's just get straight to it. So, um, towards the end of the season in Switzerland, I started contacting, sending emails, sending highlight videos, sending my CV to a bunch of coaches, and ended up getting um, an offer to Wheeling University. This season's about to end, and I have no video footage, which I was bummed out about and disappointed as well. Always, here's a tip, here's a tip for any soccer player out there, football or whatever you want to call it, record every single game possible. If you don't know how you're going to perform that game, sometimes you have great games, sometimes you have amazing games, sometimes you have bad games, sometimes you have average games, you don't know what's going to happen that game. Always record your matches, always, always, always. Because I ran into that issue of deciding, okay, I'm going to play college soccer. What's the next step? Get a video uh, or have a highlight video. I didn't have a highlight video. I had a highlight video back at, when I was in high school. And so I needed an updated highlight video of my most recent season, which was in Switzerland. And there were, I believe, four games left in the season. So four weeks left, one month left. And I just said, all right, I'm going to get somebody to record my, to record my games. And I found somebody and I recorded three matches. I believe there's three or four matches. I think it was all those last four matches. So um, the number one thing that you need if you want to play into college soccer, not even, not even college soccer, if you want to get in touch, with any team in the world, you literally need two things, CV and video. And then, you know, connections also do help, but I don't have much experience with connections because like, when I went to Switzerland, I didn't have a connection. I just went door to door giving in my, giving in my CV. Uh, this, uh, going now into college soccer, I didn't have any connections, just straight emailing and phone calls and emails and phone calls. So um, I don't have much experience with contacts. But those are the two main things. You need a good CV, you need a great highlight video. So that's the first two things you have to think of. The first page is just your name, date of birth, nationality, all that information, your weight, height, position, positions you've played, positions you're comfortable with, all the clubs you've played for, all the years, all that stuff. And then, excuse me, and then if you want to add some pictures, you can, you know, all in the bottom with some other your other teams that you played with but All yeah right, that's yeah. it and so there goes your cv your highlight video record your matches and yes it takes time but that time is definitely worth it when you can get a scholarship and go into college soccer so um i started emailing a bunch of colleges 
I emailed all the D1 colleges and then I emailed all the D2 colleges that I was interested in. And I also emailed a few D3s um, and I also emailed a few NAIAs. So I made a lot of emails. I actually, to be specific, I think it was about five to 600 emails I sent with this, within the spam of like a month. So it was a lot of work, a lot, a lot of work, but hey, it paid off, it paid off. So after contacting a lot of coaches, I finally got a few offers from uh, D2. I have some interest in one D1 college. And so the, the D1, D1 college ended up taking a different route, which uh, I was fine with. I mean, it happened. Um, so I continued emailing, didn't stop, didn't stop. And I got a lot, most of my offers were from D2 um, because you know most D1 colleges, they're not gonna recruit. Or most D1 colleges and top D2 colleges or universities, whatever you wanna call it, they don't recruit instantly off of the video. Um, unless you're it's like, they, a lot of them don't recruit off the video. You have to go in person, they've gotta see you play. So that wasn't my situation. I'm in Switzerland. They can't really see me. They're not gonna fly over just to see me. So I had to have my own videos, and I just went with what it, with the school that I felt most comfortable with, the school that gave me most scholarship, the school that I felt comfortable with the team and and comfortable with the coach and the coaching background. And I ended up going with, as I said before, Wheeling Jesuit University. And they're a D2 college uh, near Ohio and Wheeling, West Virginia. And so uh, at the end, you know, after talking to all the coaches, the staff, and, and after, you know, looking at the offers that I'm getting, look at this scholarship, look at this scholarship, I just, I chose Wheeling. I, and uh, I think I made a great, I think I made the right decision. And I'm, I'm confident in myself for this season. Uh, I'm confident that I'm gonna have a great season. And I, I really do wish the best for us, for me, for the team, for the coach, for everybody. And it's gonna be a new chapter, new team. So one thing I did wanna talk about was what to do um, when you're looking for a scholarship. So you have to think about these four things, which I wrote down, I've got a little notepad here. Uh, what are your needs financially, geographically, academically, and athletically? So uh, start off with financially, you have to talk to your family and you gotta see how much money you have to, how much money you have to spend on your tuition, if you have. Um, and it, you know, some people, they just need a full ride and they literally, they don't, they don't have anything. And full ride, obviously, is like the best the, way to go. Not, it's not really but training. It's, it's just, not easy. Know, just get you know, um, a lot of the, the most minutes. colleges, right, um, right, I don't right, know the exact true, numbers, true. but the best. I know for D1, there's like nine, nine, I believe 9.9 .9 or nine scholarships available for the teams. And that's for the fully funded teams. Um, for D2, it's like 9.9 .9 or almost 10 scholarships that are offered within the whole team. So everybody gets a little portion here and there. So it's very hard to get a full ride, but it's definitely, definitely possible. Start as early as possible so that you have more opportunity to get that full ride. So that's what you got to think of financially. Geographically, for me, um, I don't need, I don't have any needs geographically because I don't mind if I have to be in California or I have to be in Arizona or I have to be for get an offer in Maine or, or Florida. Um, anywhere is, is, is fine for me. So you just have to think, are you, would you prefer playing in the cold or in the, in the, in the heat? Or, or would you prefer playing up north or south or east or west, whatever it may be, just think about, keep that in mind and, and look for the schools that, um, that are in those geographical areas that you are interested in. Academically, you have to see as well, what are your grades? What's your GPA and what's your SAT score? So you have to know what, if you're interested in a college, you have to know what is their, what are their standards? What do you need? What GPA do you need? to be accepted into the school, what SAT do you need to be accepted into the school. Athletically is another important thing to think about. It's the last thing I have here. Um, athletically is just the level of the, of the soccer team or any team, whether it's lacrosse, basketball, or football, whatever the team is, uh, whatever the sport is, you have to think of that athletically. Are you at the level and ask yourself that, realistic, uh, that question realistically, answer that question realistically 
Uh, how do you do that? By just searching up the school's name on YouTube and type in soccer, men's soccer team, or women's soccer team, or, or ba women's basketball or men's football. And I'm sure a lot of those schools, they have um, their own highlight videos on YouTube. If not, then it is harder to see what the level is like. But it's a good thing to, to think about. You see yourself playing in that position, and if you do, then that's good. That's good. That means that you feel that you can have a spot and you can make an impact into that soccer program. And that's it. That's, those are the only things I wanted to talk about. Um, and by the way, this whole time, the video, the, the background is just um, my training sessions of how what I've been doing this past Pre this whole summer. Um, like I said, it's very tough to do the blo daily vlogging, but I got a few clips here and there. That's why I was showing it to you guys so that there's some content that you guys can see. Besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe, like, comment down below. Whatever questions you have, concerns, advice for the channel. Let me know what you guys think about the videos. Um, once again, I appreciate everything, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace. Sound impossible to obtain in a monorail recording.